today we have uh, IBB on week 14 prep versus Lamar and the uh, uh, Miami Infernapes who ended up taking over for the Jolie I and Rock. So anyways, yes, uh, I'm going to be going over the team that uh, me and Eric built for this week and hopefully it goes well. Last week was just a shit show for me. I didn't. I got outplayed every single time, I'm pretty sure. That's the way it seemed, at least. It just did not go well for me, so... Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be going over the team that I built for his, and let's first go over his team, which you'll see above my head. Uh, his team is Weavile, Weav Silvalli. I almost said Weavalli. That was what uh, why I stumbled. Weavile, we Silvalli, Salamence, Neolego, Ditto, Cloyster, Togetic, Talonflame, Himonly, Kadabra, and Ferrothorns. Uh, he's got a very threatening team. He's got big threats, such as that Salamence. The Neolego could be very, very... Um, could be an issue against my team, so we'll see how that ends up going. Uh, Ferrothorn, obviously only having the one, well, one real weakness to fire. It also has fighting as a weakness, but <clears throat> physical attacks don't do too much to it, so. Anyway, he's got Kadabra, which is actually a very, very fast Pokemon, which I didn't realize. Uh, he's probably not going to bring that. But him only could be, uh, is a very decent special defense, especially defensive Pokemon. Talonflame is weakened heavily by rocks, which is very nice. Cloyster with Skill Link could be very threatening. Togetic is kind of an issue as well. Uh, Ditto, if I, if it copies the wrong Pokemon, uh, well, if it, yeah, then it will just not be very good. Um, pretty sure we have things planned as to where I can switch in another Pokemon on the Ditto and it can't touch me touch me so pretty cool stuff uh and yeah that's pretty much it so valley can be anything so so is gonna be kind of hard to prep for i'm just gonna have to hit that thing super hard anyways yes so i kind of gave it away atlas is our first pokemon this week uh we're running a scarf track this set this this week Scar scarf scarf to set gosh man i don't know what's going on <laughs> close combat earthquake stone edge and rock polish so this pokemon overall why are we running rock polish why did i do that I'm a, I'm a, you know what, I'm going to change that to Poison Jab. That's, I mean, I have the TM, and that's probably the best thing that I have on demand that I can exchange it for. Anyways, um, yeah, so overall, Terrakion just does work to his team. The Toy Scarf really helps me. Uh, this thing just hits super hard. I don't, like, nothing wants to come in on a Stone Edge. Uh, what even resistant on his team besides Himalee and Pharaoh? That's literally it. Everything else gets hit super hard by Stone Edge. So Terrakion's going to be just like super helpful. I need to keep this thing around. And um, just Terrakion in general is just such a good Pokemon that I need this thing to stick around for the entire match. Um, I don't know. It's funny that we left uh, Rock Polish on there. Eric didn't catch that. Damn you, Eric. <laughs> uh, we were debating between different scents. We were originally thinking like a... Rock EMZ, uh, Rock Polish set, or something like that, so, you know. Anyways, we're going max attack so I can hit super hard. Uh, enough speed, outspeed, uh, max speed, scarf, uh, what do you call it? Kadabra, but I didn't realize that we didn't need the speed creep for Kadabra, cause, because why would he scarf Kadabra? That doesn't make any sense. If anything, you're gonna run Eevee Light on it, because the thing is frail as all hell. So, anyway, um, oh, that makes sense. I don't know. I'm, you know, for now I'm gonna leave Rock Polish here. Um, it'll be Poison Jab if I change it to anything <clears throat> because of that Togedic. So, um, pretty cool stuff. That is the reason we did that. It's because so if the Ditto copies Alice, he thinks we're a setup sweeper rather than being a scarf sweeper. So he's a little more comfortable with his like Weavile. Um, well, no, he wouldn't leave Weavile in, in against Rakion. A low kick could probably do a lot of damage though. Um, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so he would think we're a setup set. That's pretty much the reason. I, I forgot about that. I was talking to Eric, so that's the only reason I remembered. So, pretty cool stuff. That is it for Atlas here. So yeah, next up we have Vesuvius of Okanion. It's set level 70 because it had to be because fuck it, doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. Volcanion with the Charty Berry, uh, Earth Power, Flamethrower, Steam Eruption, and Hidden Power Ice. So the Charty Berry is obviously something to live a, uh, a rock attack from the Neolego. That's mainly the reason. Uh, it, it can also take a, a nice rock attack from the, the Hitmonlee, uh, Cloister with Rock Blast, so uh, that could be nice. I mean, I think Charty Berry doesn't lower the entire attack. It just lowers the first one, I think, so that's mainly the reason we're doing that. So we got... Earth Power here. Uh, Earth Power does decently, like, obliterates... Well, it doesn't obliterate. Actually, I'm pretty sure Earth Power has a very high chance to Oko the Neolego, Neolego at full health, and a guaranteed Oko with rocks, but I don't think we're bringing... I, we're, I don't think we're not bringing rocks this week. I'm not bringing anyone who can get rocks, actually. I think... 
actually one Pokemon might on this team might get rocks, but you know. Anyway, that's not important. So, uh, Earth Power just does decently against this team, um, sort of. It's just kind of mainly an answer for Neo Lego, and also like a fourth move slot, just because whatever. Uh, because he could bring an Electric Cell Valley to counter Vesuvius for that reason, and I could bring, or he could bring a Rock Cell Valley. Um, either way, Earth Power will hit that thing super hard. Um, it'll basically. I mean, Silvalli's not immune to it unless it become unless he brings a flying type one, which I don't know why he would, but you know. Anyway, Flamethrower just hits super hard against his entire team. I believe how much how much does he even have to resist it? I believe it's like it's literally Salamence, Neolego, and Talonflame are it that actually resists the fire, which is really nice. And um So <laughs> pretty cool stuff it's just it hits super hard obliterates ferrothorn that's mainly the reason to bring it also obliterates weavile uh weavile cannot one shot vesuvius i know that for sure and yeah steam eruption once again is just super good against his entire team it'll hit salamence super hard it'll hit everything on his team super hard um i believe it salamence and technically cloister are the only resistances no ferrothorn too but if I can burn that Ferrothorn, that would be amazing. Uh, <laughs> and imagine I send an Atlas on a knockoff and get that Justified boost. That would be awesome. So, anyway, uh, Steam Eruption just does decently. And then Hidden Power Ice is mainly for Salamence. It doesn't do much to anything else really on his team. I guess it's Togetic for super effective damage. And uh, that's really it. <laughs> doesn't do much else. So, we're rocking Max Special Attack, Max HP with a uh, Modest Nature. So, this thing's going to be hitting hard. Uh, it'll be a little Rock type attack. And this thing overall is just a bulky Pokemon. It's really nice. So, hopefully, Vesuvius can pull through. It is the second leading kill leader on my team with two kills <laughs> after Escalators with six. But yeah, so that is Vesuvius. Next up, we have Azura the Ace Elf with the Colberberry, Flamethrower Taunt, Psyshock U turn. So, the reason we're running. This is a Colberberry Taunt set for the Ferrothorn uh, to obviously weaken the damage from Knockoff. This this will also allow me to live in attack from Weavile, I believe. And U-Turn should Oko. Um, well, actually, I should definitely calc that. Okay, Knockoff will allow me to live a... Uh, well, I mean, it'll allow me to live one Knockoff. U-Turn does a ton of damage to it. So, that'll be nice. Um, no, Flamethrower. That's why we're bringing Flamethrower. I'm, s I'm silly, man. <laughs> Rock and Max special attack for that reason. Yeah, Flamethrower actually has a chance to kill, and it's a decent chance after rocks. Um, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. That's about it. Um, we built. Let's see, what did we build this thing to outspeed? I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember exactly. It might be Neo Lego. It might be Max Speed Neo Lego. No, no, no. It's okay. This is also built to outspeed Max Speed. Um, Kadabra. So yeah. Um, <laughs> literally like. Obviously, the, the, the Talonflame and the Weavile will both outspeed me. What, what else outspeeds me on this team? There's something else. No. Nothing else, actually. That's it. So, that's very nice. Uh, but, yeah. Um, but, anyway, yes. I forgot what I was talking about. <clears throat> so, this thing is obviously built to outspeed Max Speed Kadabra. Uh, it's going to hit very hard. It's going to hit pretty dang hard with the U-Turn, which will be nice. This thing has got Max Special Attack, so Flamethrower will do a lot and obliterate Ferrothorn. Psyshock will get boosted, uh, it'll, well, not boosted, it'll do more damage, and it hits on the physical side, so it should obliterate Neo Lego. I don't even think I need that much special attack investment to obliterate Neo Lego, because of base 47 defense, so, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just a couple of, uh, EVs in the defense stats, because I didn't need to put them anywhere else, and I felt they were more beneficial than putting them in attack, so. Pretty cool stuff, that is Azel. Actually, yeah, I mean, 16 would be able to up it at least one. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, hopefully, Colberry Taunt will work to succession. Hopefully, Azur will be able to be that nice pivot mon that it's typically used as that it for this week. So, yeah. Next up, we have Escalators, the kill leader for the team right now, and definitely the MVP of the team. Uh, basically, the only reason we won against uh, Alpha in Week 2. So... Electros here, we have an Assault Vest with Drain Punch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Knockoff. So it's a very similar set to what I've been bringing. Uh, very mixed attacker, so this thing has got equal attack stats. And then I put the rest in HP, so this thing can hit super hard. It's got a quiet nature because I don't need to worry about speed. Because uh, the only thing this thing would be able to outspeed by default would be uh, Togetic and Ditto, but I don't need to. Oh, and Ferrothorn. Um, I don't really need to worry about that. Togetic will net. Well, I don't believe Togetic will put enough speed to outspeed me. Ditto will most likely be Scarfed if he brings it anyway, because it's such a bad Pokemon. But, um, 
Yeah, so it, it, it's basically guaranteed to win every speed tie. That's the reason that you scarf Ditto, but uh, this thing's just going to hit super hard because Dream Punch does really nice against this team. Super effective damage against Weavile, super effective against normal Sil Valley, uh, super effective on Neo Lego, well, actually neutral on Neo Lego. Uh, Ditto for super effective, which if it's not imposter, which that wouldn't make any sense, it would be super effective on that. Super effective on Cloyster, uh, and hits Fair Thorn technically for super effective damage, and yeah. So Thunderbolt overall is just a very nice move for me to have, I believe. Would, does he have any resistance on his team? He has no. He has one resistance being Ferrothorn, and this thing does not want to come in on Escalators because of Flamethrower. He might run Aquaberry, specifically because I have enough fire coverage on three different Pokemon to uh, deal with that. But, um, yeah, so it, he definitely doesn't want to send this thing on a Thunderbolt resist. Uh, otherwise, nothing else resists a Thunderbolt from Electros. Electros is so good. Man, I, I love this Pokemon. I'm so upset I didn't choose it before this season. But I'm definitely glad I drafted it this season. I knew I wanted it from the beginning. Because it's caused me problems in the past. It's such a good mod. Uh, Knock Off is there just to get rid of items and Pokemon. Uh, maybe get rid of a Scarf on Ditto to make that thing basically useless. Knock off a Scarf on Neo Lego so that Terrakion outspeeds guaranteed. Uh, I don't know, maybe knock an Aka Berry off of Ferrothorn before I... You know, flamethrower it so that it won't, it'll just die straight out. And, uh, yeah, so pretty much, uh, this thing, as I said, a lot of attack invest, a lot of attack and special attack investment with quiet nature, so they're equal attack stats with m basically max HP. Uh, so hopefully Electros will once again be our, our MVP, man. And, uh, I did make a free agent transaction that took effect this week. I dropped Kitty the Electivire, sadly, uh, for Clefairy, because I needed a fairy type, but, I didn't really need two electric types, especially because I think Electros overall, it's bulkier. It's a bulkier Pokemon and has, uh, it's better on both sides of the attack stat. I don't know. I love Electivire. I mean, you can't do see much about that. But this thing has no weaknesses because of Levitate. So I think Electros just kind of trumps it. It's unfortunate. I love Electivire so much. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Not really, though. Anyways, next up we have Leonardo the Blastoise of the Leftovers, uh, Scald, Ice Beam, Roar, and Rapid Spin. So this thing, uh, Roar is meant to just get rid of any setup sweepers, such so as maybe a D-Dance uh, Salamence or maybe like a Moxie Salamence. That's also the reason I'm running max physical defense on this guy, so this thing can live hits pretty nicely. Um, what else would set up, really? I mean, I'm not sure there really much else is. I mean, he could he could do Calm Mind Togetic for some reason or something like that. A uh, Beast Boost Neo Lego. That'd be nice to get rid of. Uh, and yeah, so Scald should hit Neo Lego pretty decently. Um, I th Let's see. He has what? The three resistances in Salamence, Cloyster, and Ferrothorn with for Scald. And then Ice Beam hits Talonflame for neutral and Ferrothorn for neutral. And also hits Salamence for super effective damage four times. So it should probably do a lot of damage. But I do have Rapid Spin on this Pokemon so I can get rid of rocks because I have two Pokemon on this team that are weak to rocks. It gives you a little hand as to the last Pokemon that we're bringing this week. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for Blaster. It's pretty self-explanatory. This thing's just meant to be my new Milotic. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, we have a lot of HP investment, um, max physical defense with a bold nature, and the rest put in special attack just so I can hit kind of hard. And, um or not kind of hard hit harder than I would before and yeah so that is Blastoise for us and finally we have Claire the Chiron with a scarf as well Dragon Claw Outrage Stone Edge and Iron Head so Hiram here is built to outspeed uh, max speed Talonflame with the scarf so this thing outspeeds everything as long as it has the scarf on it sadly it actually outspeeds Talonflame by two points rather than one because you can't really go with to 131 if I could, that'd be awesome, but it just goes 130 to 132 with, uh, what, 12 points. So it's a little unfortunate when it comes to that, but not much I can do about it. Um, so yeah, as you see, Dragon Claw and Outrage just do so much work against his entire squad, because he's got the one resistance being the Ditto. Not the Ditto, why did I say the Ditto? The Ditto's not even not even next to the Togetic on the sheet. But Togetic is obviously immune to it, uh, Ferrothorn resists, but that's about it. Uh, I mean, this thing does not match up well against Ferrothorn, it matches up well against everything else. And we're bringing, like, a, a physically attacking Kyra. So, Outrage, I can basically Outrage on everything, and if he sends in Togetic on the Outrage, it cancels the Outrage, I can just pull it out, which would be nice, uh, because I can't Outrage it. And I have Stone Edge specifically for Togetic, so that'll hit pretty hard. Iron Head for that as well, because I really didn't have another move to put there. Uh, it does work on Neo Lego, hits that for super effective damage, as well as Weavile, but Stone Edge is just too. 
and um, Iron Head doesn't do much else. So it, I mean, it Stone Age hits would hit Cloister for more anyway because it's super effective, not neutral. So anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. We're rocking enough speed, obviously, to outspeed max speed. Uh, Talonflame as long as we have the scarf, and um, I have max attacks. So this thing's gonna hit hard, and I put a lot, a lot, a lot of defense investment. So by chance, I might be able to live an attack from a. Uh, a Salamence. I n have no idea, but we can see. So anyways, that is the team I'm bringing for this week. Really hope you enjoyed it. Looks on the description below. You'll find the link to uh, his channel as well as the IPP IPBL Twitter. Um, but I'm nervous for this match. I'd like to get it over with, though. I'm ready to do this. So I believe the team that we are bringing this week will be good. And I appreciate Eric for his help with building. So thanks so much for watching. Let's go. Let's go.